Good morning, YouTube family. Good morning. We hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Leon and I are about to leave the house and go do some shopping, and we thought we would take y'all along with us. So this is going to be an interesting day because we're actually we're going to Flowood. We don't actually have uh, any specific destinations. We're going to see what kind of stores they have. I stopped at this convenience store and I got a variety of their food looks so good. I've never been there before. So it's early morning. It's like 1035. We got jalapeno peppers. Um, they are delicious. Also, I got Leon got three chicken tenders. Okay. And then I got a chicken wing. Hold on, I'm trying to get it out. It's a big old chicken wing. And also, catfish, a piece of catfish. The other half's in the bag. Oh, and, and two of these. She ain't two of these hot wings. She won't eat it up. All the food looks so good, I had to have a variety of it. So, we're going to get to eat. We have finally made it to Flowood, you guys. He's fussing at me because I'm tired already. But the first store we're going to go to is uh, Calvinders, and we like this store right here. All right, you guys. Um, I'm tired already, but <laughs> we like going to this store. But uh, we usually get a lot of Leon shirts from this store, but I'm actually in the market for a book, a backpack purse. Cut it off because we might get a copyright claim because of the. Uh, Cute. Look how cute that is. See those door handles? Oh, yeah. Is we, it, have that's, those. we have some of these in Leon's shop. The cow, uh, that they used to put, do the cows? Yeah. Wow. Ooh. Bird of Paradise. That's a good candle right there. Come So, this is some of their purses. I have this purse right here. I got that purse. Okay, you guys, I couldn't videotape that much in Calvinders. They had the country music going on, and I didn't want to get a copyright claim. I hope a little bit that I do have recorded doesn't give us a copyright claim. But we've moved along. I'm going to show you what we bought in um, just a little bit. We're going to move along. I'm still looking for a backpack purse, so we are going to walk into another store, and I'll show you the store we walk into. We're in this, um, what is this called? It's just a little shopping center, like a Tanger Outlet Mall. And there's Michael Kors, and there's Coach. So we're going to go in Coach first because we heard they were having a sale. And then after that, we're going to walk into the Michael Kors if we don't see a backpack purse that I like in Coach. Um, so this is the back purse I've seen online. These are $350. They're cheaper online. No. So here's the sale that I've seen online. So these must be $139. So let me look at these. Okay. Here. Let me ask. I'm going to ask. You can pause it. Okay guys, um, we've left the coach. They were having a huge sale and I will reveal what I finally decided to get. Leon helped me. He's always a good shopper when it comes uh, to shopping for me. And plus we had a good salesperson there too, a lady that helped us. All right, so now we are on our way to Academy. We like to go to the Academy um, to look around. Leon likes to go in the fishing and hunt department. Uh, we get our bullets here a lot of times if they're in stock. 
and of course we are really enjoying our day i hope y'all can see us because i can't see it's you it's a beautiful day outside. it is a beautiful day yeah all right you guys i did not film in academy because they had too many people in there but this are the these are the places we went but we have somewhere else we have to go to right now and when we get back i will show you what we bought in these bags so you guys it's been quite a day so far we made it home from flowwood and we are on our way oops, sorry we're on our way to our friends arena uh doug and janie they're having a ranch rodeo tonight and so it started at two but there's no time limit it lasts on into the night but we're just going to go for a couple hours so we had to run home drop the stuff off that we bought grab our um uh, our chairs and so uh, that's where we're headed and we're going to film a little bit while we're there we haven't been in a while but it's very fun and it's um quite a sight to see watching everyone race their horses and things like that so it's not too far from our house but it is a pretty ride it is a beautiful ride look at that lake down there i don't know if you can see it down there there's where we're going there's all the horses getting ready to race up and Daryl invited us, but uh, they leaving. They Yes, sir. You want me to get out? You getting too old to get up? You getting too old to get up? It's a $100 bill y'all got. A $100 bill? It's a fake one. We just made it this morning. That's all right. I take fake y'all. <laughs> you doing all right? Doing all right. How y'all? How much is it? It's uh, $10. Oh, that's all. Well, y'all done went up for inflation, even at the rodeo? Well, on these trail ride sages, we, we've always charged yeah, money. Oh, yeah. I'm just joking. But that's the way it's your choice. That's Look at the Shetland pony. And that's I said, so I cute. can't let you in for the regular price. That's what I want, and a Shetland pony. Let somebody else, I said, it's going to have to be 10 He said, well, we, we leave it. I ain't paying $10. That's a shame. Well, we better hurry up if we want to get our money's worth. <laughs> we already an hour late. You are, you, you over there trying to video. And to close out the day, Leon and I are at our favorite seafood restaurant. We've already went home and, and got my car to come. Here is my food. And I got a salad this time. And Leon got this. And a salad. <laughs> well, Leon noticed a sign on the door that said due to inflation that um, everything's gone up. But our bill was $53.11. And I thought that was kind of high because we usually pay like $37 or, or, you know, with tip and everything, it's usually no more than $45. And we left a tip on the table, a cash tip on the table, and we paid with our uh, Visa card. And it was still $53.11. The Rustic Kitchen in a middle of nowhere basically certain items they can't get right now too like snow crabs and stuff like that yeah i didn't even film the bar this time because they didn't have barely anything on it not like they did last time and we just came what a month ago yeah. it hasn't been a month ago or about a little three more weeks ago. about three weeks ago not even that long ago the all right so we're headed hey, home i'm gonna show you the items that we bought today uh, i'm sorry about the rodeo um, we were sitting in the chair, we were sitting there a couple of hours waiting for the, um, the, the barrel races to begin. They were kind of doing a, um, practice runs before the initial barrel races, like the fast paced stuff. I started hurting because I have a pinched nerve in my back 
that runs to my um to my neck and to my shoulder i started hurting i did not feel like going up to the gate filming and i couldn't see anything to film where i was sitting so i didn't get that much footage and i apologize for that but i'm gonna go ahead and show you the items okay so uh where did we go first calendar all right so like i said we uh go to calendars leon likes the area at pants that's mostly all he wears. So we got him a new pair of pants to wear for Mother's Day. And it's just the reg you know, the basic. Very good made blue jeans. These blue jeans last a very long time. And um, so we got him a pair. Also, we got him a shirt. And he likes to get his shirts there, so occasionally we will go there and get his Ariat shirt. And it is the summer, uh, what is it called? Um, it is the UPF 50 gear that, uh, shirts that's supposed to keep you cool. So this is his Mother's Day outfit for when we go to a crawfish bowl at my family. Alright, so next, y'all seen that we went to Coach, and this is my Mother's Day gift. I got it early because I've been wanting a backpack purse, and it had to be a backpack purse that was comfortable on my back because um, without getting into any detail, I have issues in my spine a little bit. So sometimes if I carry my purse on my shoulder, a lot when I shop and things like that it can be very painful so I was hoping not only for comfort for style as well and something that'll last me a long time I thought getting a backpack like this this is the medium backpack when I first walked into the store I was looking at these there were the the mini backpacks and it was way too small it looked silly on my back plus it wouldn't have held all of the stuff that I like to hold so um, I don't know if you can tell in the light but this is white and it's a soft soft leather not the real st stiff leather and it is the medium backpack purse so when you sit it down it sits down like a purse it doesn't droop or fall over and you can hold it like this and occasionally if you have to you can also wear it this way or like I said as a backpack so it has two compartments one on this side for like your phone and then it has one on this side it has a little compartment in the front where you can put things and then this is your main compartment and your main compartment your which is called your deep pocket has the two zippers which is very important to have the two two zippers not only for durability if you read the reviews online um the two zippers is is for good durability not only for access so this is your big pocket which holds your main stuff um your wallets and things like that so this is how deep it is okay and then on the inside, it also has these pockets where you can put things. And then, of course, it has the zipper right here. And this bag, this medium coach bag right here was on sale. Everything in the store was on sale, okay? And so, the back pocket only has one zipper. And you can put, like, anything in here as well. It still has a whole lot of room. You can put your iPad if you want it to. It just has a lot of room for this, this purse. And medium worked very well for me. So I got that. So along with that, um, I got a wallet. The wallets were on sale as well. So I got to choose any color wallet, of course. And I chose the white wallet. I don't know if you could see the design. So, it's just like my Michael Kors wallet. It has the zipper. Um, almost like my Michael Kors wallet. It has the zipper. And then, of course, that's for your change. 
So that's the wallet that goes with that I chose with it. Hold on just one second. This is my Michael Kors purse. Leon bought me this about four years ago, four or five years ago. It is really held up very well. I'm I'm really a Michael Kors person, lover, and the wallet we bought four or five years ago. The wallet has held up. The wallet this is how this wallet looks, okay? very well held up there's still nothing wrong with it i will still forever use it as long as it'll allow me to it's a soft leather and i still love it um so i've never owned a coach bag my sister's more into the coach uh, um brand but this is a very well made bag too so i'm i believe it's going to hold up as long as my michael kors purse so when, I per when we purchased the backpack and the wallet, we, they, it came with a free gift. And the free gift was a little change purse. So it came with this little coach change purse. With these cute little flowers on it. It says coach. And then you just put your change in it. Which I thought was very cute. They actually accidentally charged us for this, and so we had to go back in. Well, Leon went back in, and they reimbursed us. It was an accident. She totally apologized, but just this little purse, if, this little change wallet, if you were going to go buy it on its own, it's $98. <laughs> we knew the price, you know. Leon knew the price wrong, got wrong, the total price, but we looked at it when we got to the car, and um, so they refunded us. For this because this is free cute 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 all right so this was my mother's gift day gift thank you love he's laying on the bed right there okay so then we went to academy and leon actually didn't get anything from academy this time so when we go to academy he usually goes one way i go the other way he goes to the hunting department the fishing department and checks the prices for the bullets. They didn't have any. Oh, the prices for the bullets were very high. Well, so they, what I want. they didn't actually have what he wanted, but we're already pretty well stocked up on our uh, ammo. But um, the nineteen dollar boxes of ammo that he usually gets was forty something dollars. So I did get a few things. I always get my sports bras from there. So um, it's the ones that zip up in the front. So I got a sports bra and a peach color and then i got two um sporty uh what do you call it love they're uh capri like tights okay they have a pocket right here which you can put your phone if you want two pockets one on each side i guess for working out i won't be using them for that but i like to wear these around the house maybe occasional trip to walmart um, so I got one pair of those, and I got this shirt right here, which is a Columbia shirt. It goes way past my belly button. I made sure the, 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 uh, shoulders are long and the neck's high. So, I got those to go with these. So, I thought that was cute. <laughs> cute outfit. And then, of course, um, I got this one as well to wear with blue jeans on mother's day so i'm hoping that would look cute so that is all that we purchased today and we had a wonderful day and i just wanted to show you the things that we bought our next shopping trip will be we're going to start on our raised beds tomorrow love monday. then monday monday we're going to start on the raised beds and we're going to go to co-op or um probably co-op or tractor supply or somewhere to get our tomatoes and our squash and all that already started and we're going to start planting. Leon is going to pick up the fertilized dirt from co-op. He's going to bring the trailer bed there with tarps and we're, we're going to get them to just dump some on the trailer bed. That's how we're going to do our fertilized dirt. Our, um, what do you call it? Our uh, topsoil dirt. Whatever you use to plant in your, um, raised garden bed. So that's the plans for Monday, he said. So, all right. All right, you guys. Thank y'all so much for going with us today. 
We love y'all, and we will see y'all on the next video. Bye. God bless. Bye-bye.